Hello and welcome to another video by www.electricalpereview.com. In today's episode, we're going to be covering transformer connections, specifically making auto transformers out of single phase transformers. Look to the top right, we've got our transformer equations up top for, for reference. On the far left, we've got two auto transformers. The first is a step down, the second is a step up. And right here in the middle, we've got our two single phase transformers that are identical. We're going to be using these to make auto transformers in two separate ways. So the first way to do this is to take a brand new conductor and tie in the top winding of our primary winding, connect it to the bottom of our secondary winding. And our equivalent auto transformer is going to look something like this. Here's our middle point where they're now tied together and stacked. Notice that this winding on the bottom is pointing to the right. That's because it's our primary winding. Notice that the winding on the top is pointing to the left. That's because it's our secondary winding. This ratio on the top is going to be our NP. The turns on the top then is our secondary winding turns and the turns on our bottom is then going to be our primary turns. The second way we can do this is by taking a new conductor and this time around tying in the bottom of the primary winding to the top of our secondary winding which is going to stack our top winding on our secondary winding and flip it from the way we did before. So when we draw it out our new equivalent auto transformer diagram is going to look something like this. Here's the center point where we tied them in together Notice that the direction of our top windings are now pointing to the right. That's because they are actually our primary windings. Notice our bottom windings this time are pointing to the left. That's why it's our secondary windings. And this time around on top, we've got our primary windings. And on bottom, we've got our secondary windings. Now, how does this relationship, which windings on top and bottom, affect our new auto transformer? Well, and this new configuration, we can use these to make either step ups or step downs. If we wanted to make step up transformers, we tie in our leads here and here for the primary and here for the secondary. And just like down below, if we wanted to make a step up, we tie in here and here for our primary and here, and here for our secondary. Now let's compare the new transformer ratios. On our first one, our voltage input, V1, is going to have a primary winding of NP. Our output voltage, V2, however, is going to have a secondary winding of NS plus NP. So our new ratio is NP to NS plus NP. In this example down here with the windings switched, our V1 is going to have a primary winding of NS and our output voltage V2 is going to have a secondary winding of NP plus NS. So what's the difference? Our secondary windings are still the same, but our primary windings are different. We've got NP and NS. Depending if our original transformer was a step up or a step down, this would result in a very different transformer ratio. Example, what if the single phase transformer that we used was a step down 480 volt to 120? That would make our new winding with our secondary winding on top of our primary winding the equivalent of 480 to 480 plus 120, that would come out to 600, which would give us a ratio of 1 to 
Now if we look at this configuration with our primary winding on top and our secondary winding on bottom, this would result in 120 to 600, which would be the equivalent of 1 to 5. So this way we'd be stepping up our voltage by a factor of 5, and this one we'd only be stepping up our voltage by a factor of 1.25. Now, what if we were trying to use these to make step-down transformers? Well, in that case, it looks something like this. We start back with our original configurations of our secondary over our primary, and our primary over our secondary. To step down, we're going to connect our primary leads from top to bottom. And that's going to be our input, V1. And only across our NP coils for our output voltage of V2. Down below, our input voltage across the top and bottom. And this time, only across our secondary coils for our output. Now, what's happened to our ratios? So now our N1 to N2 is going to equal our secondary plus our primary to our primary, our primary plus our secondary, this time to our secondary. Now going back to the example of what if these were 480 volt to 120 step down transformers, our ratio for our top configuration would be 600 to 480, or 1.25 to 1. And our bottom configuration would result in a ratio of 600 to 120, or 5 to 1. So if we were using these for a step-down transformer, the top one would only reduce it by a factor of 125 to 1, but the bottom one would reduce it to a factor of 5 to 1. Now, the question is, how do you know which configuration to use? If you're asked to do a step down, do you use the top configuration or the bottom configuration? If you're asked to do a step up, do you use the top configuration or the bottom configuration? Usually, the problem statement is going to tell you, for a single phase transformer of a certain ratio or certain voltage, in this example, we're still using a 480 volts to 120, It'll say make an auto step-down transformer from a single phase 480 to 120 transformer that's capable of stepping down 600 volts to 120. Well, in this case, we'd know we'd want to go for this, this configuration right here. If, however, it said take a 480 to 120 step-down single phase transformer and make an auto step-down transformer that's going to transform, say, 600 to 480, well then you know to use our configuration up top. And you can use the same method for determining if they're asking you for step-up auto transformers. The easiest way to do it is look at your primary and secondary voltage, add them together, that will usually either be your new V1 or V2, and then take them and subtract them. And then your other value is going to be either VP is going to equal to V1 or V2, or VS is going to equal to V1 or V2. Okay, that sums up the difference between the two different ways we can stack our coils. Let's go on and talk about the input and output currents before moving on to some examples. So let's say we're going to use this configuration on the bottom stacking our primary winding on top of our bottom winding to make a step-down auto transformer as shown. We've got our primary phase, we've got our primary winding current here, IP, which is going to equal our I in for our auto transformer. We've got our secondary winding current here, IS, 
we've got our new current, I2, for our auto transformer output. That's going to equal the sum of both winding currents since they're entering the node and this is leaving the node. So our new output current is going to be IP plus IS. These are the primary and secondary winding currents of our original primary transformer. Now say we're going to use this top configuration up here to make a step up transformer. Our new connections are going to be here and here. This is going to be our input V1, our output voltage V2, this is going to be our secondary winding current IS, which is also going to be our auto transformer output current I2. This is going to be our primary winding current IP, and this is going to be our new input current I1. Since I1 is entering this node, and our primary and secondary current are leaving this node, we can rewrite I1 as equaling IP plus IS. The third and final thing to cover is for our single phase transformer, our VA rating, which is equal to our complex power, is going to be V1, our primary voltage, times our primary current, or it's going to equal our secondary voltage times our secondary current. For our auto transformers, our complex power and volt amps is going to be different. That's because our input and our output currents are now changed. For this configuration on the bottom, our complex power is going to equal our V in times our IP, which is equal to our output voltage times I2. But notice that our output voltage is now equal to our primary winding current plus our secondary winding current. For this configuration up top, with our secondary winding on top of our primary winding, our complex power rating is going to be our input voltage times I1, which is now equal to IP plus IS, which is equal to our secondary side of our output voltage times our output current. Okay, those are all the basics of going from a single phase transformer and reconfiguring it for step up or step down auto transformers. Next up, we're gonna roll into a couple of examples. This can kind of be confusing, but once you run the numbers, everything should fall into place. Okay, that's it for this video. For more examples and to visit our premium review course, come see us at www.electricalpereview.com.